Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, my name's Iman. I really wanted to do a video on this subject, which is how to basically fake big lips, how to make it look like you got filler, lip injections, but not actually putting needles in your lips, instead just doing it with makeup. So the reason I wanted to do this is because as Everyone knows lip filler and lip injections within the last, pff, I don't know, five to 10 years just blew up. Thank you, Kylie Jenner. And everyone was getting lip injections. But I feel like the trend of that is kind of slowly going away. And even the people that had lip injections and filler are like getting it dissolved, which I think is amazing because I think we can definitely get the exact same or very similar effect with makeup without having to put any needles in your lips. Of course, if you like getting lip filler, all the power to you. I am not judging you guys. But if you're like me and you're a total scaredy cat, <laughs> makeup is the second best option. So if you love that full lip look, I'm gonna show you guys today how you can achieve that and get that look with just makeup. If you're new, hit that subscribe button before we get into this tutorial. Also, make sure to add me on Instagram, you guys, because I'm doing a giveaway there every single week. So if you're not following me on Instagram, it's at Iman, make sure you do. All right, let's get into this tutorial. This is a straight how-to, so let's do it. The first thing is I know I'm gonna get comments about people saying that my lips are already big and in this video doesn't make sense because my lips are already big. <laughs> I don't even wanna hear it because the tips that I'm gonna show you guys will work for everyone. So I can't do anything about the size of my lips. I can't change that. And I still wanna be able to show you guys this video. So I'm gonna show you guys how you can enhance your lips from just a regular lip shape to something even more fuller. That whole juicy lip filler look. <laughs> And even though my lips are a little bit on the bigger side, I can make them look way bigger. And that is the point of this video, is just how to make your natural lips look bigger. I have this lip scrub on my makeup table at all times. It is the Fresh Sugar Lip Polish. I love this stuff. It exfoliates your lips. It's the best way to kind of prep your lips. And when you want a fuller lip effect, this is really gonna help just get the blood flowing and it's even after you use just the lip scrub, it's gonna make your lips look a little bit fluller because it just naturally plumps up up a little bit. So use a lip scrub. You can use any type of lip scrub that you have, but I really love this one from Fresh. It smells good, it tastes good. <laughs> and I just use this all over and I really take my time to kind of just work it in because it just, first of all, it feels so good. and. Once you're done, your lips will already have the appearance of just looking a little bit plumpier and a little bit fuller. I hope you guys can understand what I'm saying while, I'm <laughs> while I was doing that. Like that already made a difference, look at that. So once you're done, you could just wipe it off with a tissue paper and then we move on to the next step. So next step, we are going to line our lips. You want the lip liner to be one or two shades darker than your natural lip color. So you want it to be similar to your lip color because this is what we're gonna use to overline your lip and give it like a whole new shape. So we want this color of the lip liner to look similar to your natural color as possible. There's one key thing that you need to remember when you're doing this. The areas where you're going to overline are more in the center part of your lips. So the bottom of your lip, Lip, the top of your lip. Once you get to the like the outer corners of your lip, you don't want to overline that part too much because that's when it starts to look really unnatural. And the other thing I want to mention to you guys is when you line with the lip liner going upwards, you're going to naturally get a fuller shape rather than lining downwards. Make sure that you're lining upwards in this direction rather than lining downwards. So I'm gonna start right in the center of my bottom lip. And when you're filling this part in, it's totally fine to overline past your natural lip line because it's underneath, you can't tell, and this creates a natural contour on your lip. So this is a great way to make your lip look fuller than it actually is. So you guys can see, I went underneath my natural lip line, but when you're looking at it, it doesn't look like it. It looks like 
that's just where my lip ends. <laughs> Once you have that, then you start to line your corners. But when you're lining the corners of your lip, you wanna line just on top of your natural lip line. So you don't wanna overline in this area. And I like to always kind of just check as I'm going. So even when my mouth is opened, you could see it looks natural. It doesn't look crazy. I overlined all the way underneath my lip, you guys. So this makes my lower lip look way bigger than it actually is. And the good thing about lining underneath right here, this is also going to give the effect that your lip is kind of sticking out a bit. So it's going to give that more kind of pouty look to your lip. I also like to create a line just right down the center of my lip that is also going to give you that super pouty effect. Now for the top lip, you're going to follow the same rules. So the areas that you want to overline are around the center of your lip, around your cupid's bow area. But once you are getting to your corners, you're going to stick to just your natural lip line. But don't forget guys, when you're filling in your corners, you want to line upwards. This is really gonna make a big difference, I promise. This is where I'm going to slightly overline. Now, depending on how full you want your lips to look, this is where you can kind of do your own thing. You can overline quite a bit, or you can overline just a little, but the idea is this is the part where you're gonna go past your natural lip line, and this is gonna make your lips look a lot fuller. Okay, so you guys could see, even though I overlined, it doesn't look crazy. <laughs> it still looks natural. And once I have that, then I like to go in with the pencil and just fill in a little bit. This is not gonna be the base. I'm still gonna do other lip colors, but I like to fill in just a bit, mainly in the corners, not so much in the center. I like to leave the center bare. We're good with the lip liner. The lips look symmetrical. Everything looks great. Now it's time to fill in the lips. So I love starting off with a matte kind of liquid lipstick or a matte lipstick when I'm creating this super pouty look. It's just something about these matte lipsticks that make your lips look so much fuller. And I have to say Huda Beauty does matte lip colors really, really well. So I love her uh, liquid matte and I love these new lipsticks, these bullet lipsticks. This one is called Girl Strip. So I have both of these. I'm gonna show you guys both. This is called Sugar Mama. And I'm gonna use this to fill in my lip. Don't be afraid of going over your lip liner. That's totally fine. Line, that's actually what we want. This is really gonna help conceal where we overline and it's gonna make it like pretty much impossible to even see where our natural lip stops and where the overlining starts. I wanna quickly show you this color because it's one of my favorites. This is Girl Strip. This is also from Huda Beauty. This kind of makes it look a little bit more pinkier. Okay, so no matter what color you're using, use a matte. Once you have that, this is where I like to go in and do a little bit of natural contour and highlighting. This will make a big difference, you guys. So I'm taking a concealer stick that is slightly darker. It's more of a contour color. This one is from Jouer and just a little brush. And all I'm gonna do is just slightly contour the bottom of my lip. You guys can see, uh, that is just gonna make your lips look so much poutier. It's a very simple step, but it makes a big difference. And then you want to go in and highlight your cupid's bow because that will also give the effect of that plumpy effect on your cupid's bow. So same thing, I'm just gonna take another concealer, but this time a lighter shade. And just right on top of the cupid's bow, you're gonna just gently highlight. See how like that makes it kind of stick out? This is gonna make your lips look like so much juicier without, without really doing much. That was just like a, such a quick, easy, simple step, but it makes a big difference, you guys. This is looking great. I love that this still looks super natural, doesn't look crazy, but next we are going to add a gloss. The gloss is going to automatically just take your lips to a whole other level. So I'm using this gorgeous gloss from NARS. This is called Young Hearts. This collection just came out. It's so beautiful. I definitely need to do a video with it. And same thing, when you're applying this, you're going to apply this over your entire lip, even over where we applied the liner. This gloss is so nice, you guys. Oh my God, I love this. So even when I'm applying the gloss, I like to apply upwards because it makes a big difference. <laughs> this is such a pretty color. I love this lip color. <laughs> I love it, it's so nice. So you guys could see gloss just takes it to a whole other level. It really is gonna give you that lip filler, full lips, lip injection look. It's gonna just make your lips look so much plumpier. You can 
take this to whatever levels you want. You can stop at the matte lipstick, you can do the gloss, totally up to you. So the last thing I'm gonna show you guys, this is kind of a two in one tip. Another way to give that super full pouty fake lip look is with a lip plumper. Too Faced does really great lip plumpers. This is the Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme. This is instant and long-term lip plumper. So I'm gonna use the lip plumper on top of all of this. So the reason this is a two-in-one tip is because the other tip is if you take any clear gloss, whether it's a lip plumper or not, and apply it just right in the center of your lip, it's gonna make your lips look even more bigger. <laughs> so I'm gonna apply this just in the center, just to add that 3D effect. Do you see how like once the gloss is in the center of your lip, it just like attracts the light, so it makes your lips look even like fuller than they already are. So I'm gonna apply a little bit all over just to show you guys the full effect. Okay guys. That is my fake lip routine. So even though I started with slightly fuller lips than maybe some people have, you could definitely tell they did not look like this. And that is the point of this video. Whether you like your lips to look fuller or more natural, it totally is up to you. But if you wanna know how to make your lips look super big with just makeup and no needles needed, this is it guys. I hope you try it out. If you do, let me know in the comments what you think. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you're new to my channel because we love makeup here. We love makeup, beauty inside and out though guys. That's always my motto. So do what feels good to you. Add me on Instagram at Iman. I'm doing a giveaway there right now. So go check it out. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in another video coming out this weekend. Bye.